Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Just out here enjoying a little smoke in the Time Cave. Got the um, Depression era, 1932, dated uh, little giant burning here with the green globe, the signal green globe, that is. Anyways, just, uh, you know, thinking about some stuff. A new year ahead of us, still, pretty much brand new. Yeah, not a bad thing. It's a nice Saturday, gorgeous weather outside. So, yeah, I'll be spending some time out there soon. But I wanted to uh, give an update about some things uh, to my subscribers, all 38 of them, which I am grateful for you guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I just have fun out here. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I decided to change my channel name. And it used to be 35GE Monitor T. Now that was a mouthful. And not everybody understands what that meant. So I'll talk to you about why I changed it and what it used to mean and what it is now. Hmm. That's nice stuff. Good old Sir Walter Riley. Classic stuff. But anyways. 35GE Monitor T meant... Um, 1935 General Electric Monitor Top Refrigerator. Now that is a classic refrigerator from the Depression era and I have one. Actually I have two. I have one from 1929 and 1935 and they both operate uh, very well actually. And they're very efficient refrigerators and um, well, since I can't collect a whole lot of them they take up a lot of space. I have one in the house and one out here in the time cave. But they are food safes. They're heavy. They're very bulky and very hard to move. So, and also expensive when you find them. So, you know, I, I can't collect them like I do my lanterns. And my videos are predominantly lanterns. So I thought I'd change my name on YouTube, my channel name that is, to Rayo Rob seven, number 17. So uh, if you want to find me or if you know anybody that wants to follow me or want to check out my channel, it's Rayo, capital R, underscore, capital R, Rob, underscore, number, period, 17. So, N-O, period, 17. So, spelled out, it's capital Rayo, underscore, capital Rob, underscore, capital N, lowercase, uh, uh, lowercase O, period, 17. So, that's, that's my new name. And uh, I figured that's more appropriate for what I do. And since my name is Robert, Rob is definitely my nickname. And it's what I usually go by. So there you go. That's that's the word. And since I like Rayo lanterns, and this one is definitely one of my favorites, the number 17, that's where the name came from. So Rayo 17 is, this one's one of my, my favorite little hot blasts. So I thought I'd use that one for the the change of names, and it's a new year, so why not change things up a little bit and get a little more on brand with what I do out here with my lantern videos. So there you go. Don't get scared of thinking I might have disappeared, just changed the name. <laughs> so that's all good. Anyways, we have another uh, thing to share. This is the uh, other lantern I received recently. That's my Rayo number 65. I uh, got this off of eBay, and it was heavily corroded and covered in uh, paint. It was gold paint, and it was kind of chunky and nasty. And so a friend of mine, uh, he had some good stripper available. And get your mind out of the gutter. Not, a, not that stripper. The kind you put on metal. <laughs> get paint off. Anyhow, this thing is really cool. It came out great, and the metal underneath was actually in decent shape. There was some rust, but I used the old wire brush and... Brillo pad and all that stuff and and got it all taken care of. So yeah, good old WD-40 came to the rescue after the paint came off and uh, so it's still in the process of being fixed up. I, I haven't put the burner in it yet and the filler cap is still off but I'm letting it kind of dry out and air out. Um, so I'm going to clean the, the fount out more. There are some holes at the bottom as you can probably see there on the uh, left hand side. Uh, so I, I, I make plug those up. I might seal that all up so I can actually hold oil and burn this lantern and get it working again. Or I might just leave it as is. Or I might even flip it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But it is a neat piece. And this is very similar to the Detilo. 
And as you can see, there's no lift lever at all. There's a loop down here, and there's a little extra loop here on the uh, the wire rail or wire guard, not guard, but the um, the guide wire. That's what I want to say. You can put your thumb there and your finger there, and it lifts it, lifts the uh, globe up, so you can access the burner. So it's a very simple design. Not a very expensive lantern by any means. Uh, in its day, it was a contractor's lantern, and they you know, made a lot of them. And so there you go. That's what we're, we that's what we got. So I think it's cool. It's got some nice soldering going on here. And it's a nice Radio 65. Put the red globe in there just for fun, just to keep it from looking so uh, naked and bare. It didn't come with a globe, so yeah. Anyhow, didn't spend a lot of money on that lantern. I might, I just might keep it. That tends to be the way things go around here. Anyhow, thanks so much for uh, subscribing. And I hope you uh, enjoy these videos. For those who are watching this video for the very first time, uh, please subscribe. Join the fun. It's a, I try to keep things interesting and educational as well about old antique kerosene lanterns and how to use them and take care of them and whatnot. But um, there's also a lot of other great videos on YouTube uh, that also cover this subject, which might surprise you. Um, Bob the Lantern Guy is definitely one that I follow and watch often, and he's got some really fun videos, and he restores lanterns pretty well. And uh, he does great work. He also has some for sale. So hit him up if you like what you see, um, and he might have something for you at a reasonable price. And I know I bought a lantern or two from him, and he's got some good stuff, and he always takes good care of his customers. And, um, yeah, there's also some other uh, lantern guys, so just... Do a Google search on lantern videos or in YouTube, search Kerosene Lantern, and you'll find a lot of us out there. So hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you can uh, get an update, and um, yeah, we'll keep in touch. Okay, everybody, from the Time Cave to your screen, have a great weekend. Take care now. Bye-bye.